The Shulkoff Hydroelectric Power Plant sat just downriver from Niagara Falls. Previous years of milling with water power on the gorge made the rock unstable. In 1956, the cliff collapsed. The rock slide hurled tons of debris onto the power plants. Bursts of water from the broken penstocks ejected three workers into the river. One person died, the others were picked up. 39 workers emerged from the elevator just as the last building exploded. Power was restored quickly with the help of Canada. Here we are in Niagara Falls, and we're at the old Sholkoff power plant. This elevator here takes you down. We're gonna go check out some of the original power plant sites. The plant was created by Jacob Scholkoff. He landed in New York from Germany in 1841, the age of 22. In two years, he moved to Buffalo and opened the leather shop. In 1844, he purchased a tannery in Hamburg, New York. Two years later, opened a sheepskin tannery in Buffalo. Later, opening tanneries in North Evans, Chicago, and Fort Wayne, Indiana. His sheepskin tanner in Buffalo was the largest in the world. In 1857, he purchased the North Buffalo Flowering Mills. In 1870, the Frontier Flowering Mills, both on the Niagara River. In 1877, he purchased the Hydraulic Canal in Niagara Falls. By 1882, he had seven mills on the high bank. This is where he started producing electricity, and later down below, to take advantage of the extra drop in water, eventually building larger plants. We found the early powerhouse of the Pittsburgh Reduction Company, or Alcoa. 